A brief introduction to music terminology. Let's start with dynamics. Nobody ever starts with dynamics, but they should. F is short for fun, because it's fun to play loud. P is short for soft. The P is silent, so you should be too. There are other dynamic markings, but they're hard to pronounce. Articulation is short for articulation, because music was invented by singers at the North Pole. If you think articulation is hard to say, try articulating on a wind instrument. Stack a toe means to play short, because toes are short, and even if you stack them up, they're still short. Leg a toe means to play connected, because the leg bone is connected to the toe bone. This one's called portato. You say potato, I say portato, because I'm somewhat articulate. Rhythm has to do with timing. Developing good rhythm is hard, so it's appropriate that spelling the word should be too. This is a 64th note, unless you're British. Then it's a hemi dimmi semi quaver, or hemi for short. They were invented by Fritz Kreisler, a violinist, composer, and automobile manufacturer. This is a quarter rest. It's squiggly because the artist drew the top quarter and then fell asleep still holding the pen. Melody is a fancy word for the tune. Harmony refers to all the notes that are trying to harm the tune. Sometimes they succeed. A cello rondo means to speed up if you're a cellist. Pianists get piano rondos, and oboists get oborondos. In casual use, we call them all a cello rondos because the cello is a nice instrument. Retardando means to slow down. Music teachers write them all over their students' scores to get them to practice carefully. Crescendo means to get louder. It helps to think about trying to crush your instrument. That's why it's called a crescendo. Diminuendo means to get softer. It's got a double meaning, but the other definition has been lost to history. Accidentals are what composers use when they realize they picked the wrong key signature. Sharps go up and flats go down. Naturals don't do either, but they're still used in elevator music. Double sharps and double flats can only be played by the piccolo and the contrabassoon, respectively or at least, respectably. These are bar lines. They divide up bars. They're most common around the weekend, and you usually have to go around if you need to use the bathroom. This is a double bar line. If you see one of these, you should probably go somewhere else. This is a fermata. It was named after a French guy called Pierre. Rumor has it there's a pot of gold at the end, but it takes a while to get there. This is an alto clef. It's used by violists. The lines indicate which string to play, but the artist didn't know how many strings are on a viola. For that matter, neither do some violists. That was a viola joke. It probably won't be the last one you ever hear. This means that what you played was fine, so you should stop now. <laughs>